going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. Who do you work for? Now, I don't mean uh, what what company you work for. What I mean is the equipment that you have. Do you work for yourself? Excuse me. Let me rephrase that. Do you work for the truck or does the truck work for you? And it's not a trick question. It's, uh, let me explain where I'm going with this video. An old guy told me a long time ago, this was when I was a company driver, older guy, he's been an owner operator for years. And he drove, uh, he drove an old Peterbilt with the old, one of them old tub body dump trailers. Um, and I said, uh, how come you drive this old equipment like this? I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly how the conversation went because it's been a long time. And he says, my truck works for my, my truck works for me. I don't work for my truck. And you know, that, that's, it's, I, I want to say it always stuck with me. You know, it was always in the back of my mind, you know, when I was looking for equipment. Um, now, in the beginning, you're going to have to make an investment. Yeah, you're going to have to spend some money and you're going to have to work for your truck. You know, to get it paid off. But, you know, that's one of the reasons why I advise people, if they ask, if they want to hear what I have to say, to get an inexpensive truck. So that way you can pay it off as quick as you can, pay it off within a year or two. And that way the truck is working for you and you're not working for the truck because I mean yeah it, it's nice to have a, you know a, a nice brand new shiny new truck and you got a $2,500 a month payment that goes on for the next four to five to six years um, I'm sorry I lost my train of thought there was somebody standing on the corner looking at me I was, they, <laughs> oh well um, four to five, six years, right? So that's that's a long time, especially if you're in an industry where the commodity, the rates really fluctuate up and down. Now, if you're in a, if you pull a commodity that is. that will sustain, you know, three, four, five dollars a mile, then that $2,500 a month payment, it's not going to be a much of an issue as opposed to pulling a commodity that pays somewhere between a dollar to two dollars a mile. Can you, I mean, so that, you know, and that's why I say, you know, get yourself an inexpensive truck. Because what happens when you want to take time off and you got that $2,500 a month payment knocking at your door? And I'm just using that as a figure because that's what they, you know, I was talking to another guy. Um, he just bought a, uh, a new glider and his payments are 2500 bucks a month. Uh, so that's where I'm getting that number from. So, I mean, it's up to you. Are you working for your truck or is your truck working for you? Just something to think about. And to me, I like my freedom. Uh, yeah, old trucks break down. I shouldn't say they break down. Yeah, old trucks need something, but it's not a deal breaker. I mean, it's stuff, you know, it's stuff that, you know, okay, well, I'll let me run this load and run that load. And I get it replaced and you're good to go. Um, while I'm speaking on that, people may say, well, with a new truck, you get a warranty. That's true. Um, now, what they don't tell you is, okay, yeah, the truck's under warranty. Something happens and you got to put your truck in, in the shop for warranty work. Number one, 
these shops, when it comes to warranty work, in my experience, you know, when I've driven other trucks under warranty, uh, they're not in a hurry to get warranty work done. So now, while that truck is under warranty and it's in the shop, do you have money to cover yourself while the truck is down? And depending on what it is, because they gotta they gotta find the parts, they don't have them in stock. And I'm just, you know, I'm just putting it all out on the table. Yeah, it can happen with the older truck too. But I mean, I'm just throwing scenarios out there. You know, I'm I'm trying to, I'm not your enemy, man. I'm not your enemy. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep y'all. Uh, for those of you that watch the videos and, and like to hear my advice, I'm trying to keep y'all out of debt and trying to keep your stress level down and try to give you advice to where you know if you want to take a week off, take a week off. You don't have this big overhead, you know, over your head. Well. That's a video six minutes long. Don't want to keep you all tied up. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.